welcome back to another episode of Kid in a Sweet Shop. Today I'm at Octane Collection, which is a treasure trove of the most incredible cars. You've got classics, you've got moderns, but I'm not here for them. I'm here to see one of my great friends, the awesome Brian Johnson. So Bry, we're here yep. at the Octane Collection, and this is um, this is a lovely dealership, and it's got. Boy, that text the eye. Sorry, Joe. Yeah, I know, I know. Isn't that amazing? The 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 Batmobile. So we can take any car out oh. to go for a little spin. I know it's going to be quite a hard choice. And we've got all these beautiful Porsches and a Lamborghini, a couple of Ferraris over there. Yeah. And uh, there is a lot of Porsches. I don't there know is. if I can say this to you, but uh, yeah, go what's on. the difference between a porcupine yeah. and a Porsche. Uh, I don't know. The what? porcupine's got the pricks on the outside. Now, I didn't say that to mean anything bad. <laughs> Just a little joke. <laughs> Oh, stop uh, it. Some American so muscle true. here. Oh, look at that Mustang. That's beautiful, isn't it? Isn't darling? it gorgeous? Yeah. I still get a little... Get a little, little, little excited. Buzz. It's just beautiful, isn't it? It's oh, just like... No. You just want to stick your arm out the window, go down Route 66. And a picnic table Porsche, I call these. Yes, exactly. What like else the blue. The blue is quite cool, though. Yeah, I had one of these. You had an E-Type coupe? Yeah. No, it didn't, no, Nadal. It was perfect. a convertible. It was a V12. Yeah. yeah. And uh, it was in Florida, and it had a, lots of problem with the heat there. You know, it had oh, big envelope fans. feet are on fire. You know, honestly, and... Uh, if you turned the headlights on, put the wipers on, turned the radio and had the air conditioning on, <laughs> the whole thing would stop. Oh, look at the Shelby. Oh, this oh, is there we go. <gasps> hidden. The Shelby. Oh, my God. That is an. This is proper, this lad. This is serious. <laughs> Unbelievable. That's, this is time warp, isn't it? When you could use that phrase. Quite honestly, there's one of my favourite oh, cars Dino's. of all time. Yes, and I, beautiful. And this Daytona mm. as well. Just two absolutely of, gorgeous. Two of my, I think, uh, yeah. the most beautiful cars. Unbelievable. I mean, I love, the, look at those but two. But these two things, yeah, oh. now this is what, you know, you were saying I can drive anything. Yeah. You know, and of course there's a million things to drive in here that, you, you know, would make your nipples hard. <laughs> But these two things here. I love these. I mean, how outrageous is that colour, Jody, for a start? It's you brilliant. Know, what was this? Lime yellow. 72, or something. out your pop. You yeah. know, you've got British Leyland, um, you know, baby poo coloured mustard or whatever the hell they Yeah, had. baby poo. Yes, and every then, car was baby poo colour. Yeah, and then, yeah. then you got this. Yeah. Well, I've never been in one. I've never yeah. driven one. What do you think we take we take oh, this one out? I would love to take this yeah? one out. Okay, come on then. Let's get it let's get it out. How do okay. we even get it out Can of here? Can we get it out, boys? Get it out. First of all, what a lovely car. This is a supercar. It's a car I've always wanted, and now yeah. I want it more now that you've let me. Do you? It, uh, drive it. Do you? And uh, this one, I, I believe, is a special one. Your lovely yes. friend who yes. let, loaned us this. This is from 1974. Yeah. And it is uh, a BMW CSL. Yeah. It's one of the first M cars yeah. that BMW designed. Um, yeah. So it's been homologated to go racing, to compete in the touring cars in Germany, and um, was hugely successful. Yeah, I, Five, I, read, six years. I read something about uh, the man from BMW called Left. Gerhard Berger. Uh, Gerhard, Gerhard Richter. Richter. <laughs> Gerhard <laughs> Richter. Sorry. I think he, he's um, quite handy. Gerhard Richter, Gerhard Richter from Richter. BMW. Yeah. yeah was wanted to get into the competition because the yeah. Porsche were dominating and Mercedes were starting to build the fast cars. Yeah. So he started this whole BMW race thing. And I believe I was told this is before the M engine. This was a straight six. Yes, straight six, uh, and, three litre straight six. Um, and, and I mean, what an entrance to be so successful when, you know, BMW had a bit of a wobble beforehand. Yeah and to say, right, we've really got to kick off the BMW 
racing yeah. side <laughs> and to design this and it to be so it's so a, popular. And you know what's scary for me driving in these little country roads? Yeah, tiny little there's things. only seven of them. So we put out on our kid in the sweet shop. Yes, um, ma'am. Some questions to okay. all all our followers yeah. to ask you. Right, having part Italian in your family, yes. how much has that influenced Brian's love of cars? And what is your favourite Italian brand? Um I've gotta say Alfa, Alfa yes. Romeo, uh, mainly because when I was a young boy, my mum was Italian and our family from Italy used to send over magazines. Yeah. And uh, the magazines, you know, they had a lot of photographic magazines and I'll never forget one. And they had a photograph of Taggio Nullari yeah. holding a cup, cigarette in his mouth. And I just was fascinated by this tiny little man. Yeah who took on the might of the Germans at the 1936 German Grand Prix. All the silver arrows came out with all yes, these oh brand new cars. God. And yeah. here he was in a three-year-old Alfa Romeo P3. Um, he shouldn't have done anything, but he beat them all. Wow. He, he was tough. And that's when it just, the whole wonderful magic just hit me. Uh, yeah. And it never left. So Alfa Romeo, it's, it's, I mean, I know the Ferrari's the one that everybody says, and yeah. of course they're fabulous. But there's something about the Alfa DNA, because you know, even Ferrari used to drive for Alfa, for Alfa, you know? Yes, you're right. I'm totally, totally with you. Yeah. Uh, okay, next question. Ask Brian about his classic mini racing, and do you still have your Mark I Cooper? Yes, I do. <laughs> and I had a smashing time in it. And then we garaged it for about six years because I couldn't get to it. And I took it out uh, with my friend Ron Maiden uh, to the revival this year. And we had terrible transmission problems, oh, which no. meant, you know, we're, we're qualified it on the back row, which would never, ever, you know, we're usually in the top five. Yeah. Uh, but. Uh, it just kept jumping out of gear. So it's being fixed now, and no, I'll never sell it, I don't think. It's your baby. Uh, it's just, it's everything. I would ask anybody out there, all these young kids with all these new, you know, like yeah. the Yaris GR, yeah, 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 cars. Yeah. That's what the Mini Cooper was. Was, yeah, exactly. You know. Yeah, it's very, very special. But, but to drive a Mini Cooper S, you have to do it to understand anything Any that car. I'm talking about yeah. now. You wouldn't understand totally. it otherwise. It's like a go-kart and steroids. It's just <laughs> fun. It's brilliant. Okay, what car does he think best suits Angus Young? Well, uh, Angus doesn't have a driving license, so <laughs> oh, that that's that finished. That's that. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> what car did Brian first do 100 miles an hour in and how legal was it? Uh, well, it, it wasn't legal at all, actually. <laughs> and, uh, Still uh, isn't. Uh, me and Ken Walker bought this Jaguar between with this big 410G or whatever the heck it was, 420G or something. And we had to get to London and uh, we uh, put the power down in this thing. And we suddenly realized that we couldn't afford to drive at 100 mile an hour because <laughs> you the watch the petrol doing that. <laughs> so we, we didn't do it much, but boy, it was exciting it's to brilliant. do it in comfort, you know? Oh, amazing. Okay, is there a car version of The Girl Who Got Away? A car version of The Girl Who Got, got Away? Yeah. Um, that's a deep one. Who wrote that? A psychiatrist. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Um, yeah, the DB7. The, DB7. The new Aston Martin DB7. Okay, nice. Bought it, kept it beautiful. Yeah. Fell out of love with it in a heartbeat. <laughs> yeah. It didn't take long to realise it wasn't very good. Right. And uh, you know, it should never have been that bad. Yeah. You know, it should have been a start. of got stunning lanes by Ian Callum. Yes. He, yeah. did, he did everything he had to. Yeah, exactly. It and was the, the engineering. engineering department yeah. just chucked in a, a you know, yeah. spare parts from other cars. You yeah. know, it was know. sad. Yeah, I agree. Um, okay, favorite road trip song? Oh, uh, Lowrider. Yeah. By War. Yes. Da, 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 da. 
That's just Fred Cruz and song. It is a very good, right. Favourite car he has ever owned and worst. Have we just mentioned the worst, the DB7? Well, no, no, the DB7 wasn't the worst car by a long shot. It was the biggest disappointment. But right, the worst it. car I think I ever had was, uh, you know, every car I've had I've enjoyed. Saying the worst one seems to be a bit cruel, even though they're, they're not human. Yeah. You know, <laughs> no, I get it, but that just sums you up how gorgeous you are. Well, you can't even oh, think of. Hang on, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I've thought of one <laughs> the Hillman Imp. <laughs> oh. <laughs> when did you have that? Uh, when I it was one of my very, very first cars, and I thought, oh, I'll get a bit of modernity. And I chucked <laughs> in my Ford Popular set up and beg for this car. I bought it three days later, it stopped. And, oh. it, and it sat in the backyard for a year. Where do you get your hats from? Uh, well, you used to be an old lady in uh, near the King's Road, you know, but uh -huh. she, I think she passed on. So now we just go, where would I see one? You know, I'll just yeah. stop and buy one. And now every, it seems to be catching on. Everybody's got them on now. Yeah, so absolutely. <laughs> You've set a big trend. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, does Brian miss his Triumph Roadster? I do. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, I bought that in 1983 yeah. at a place near Darlington. It was called the Old mm. School or near Ripon or somewhere like that. Oh, it just sounds lovely. Doesn't yeah, it? The and, uh, and I bought it and I drove it home to Newcastle and I loved that car. Okay. And then I moved permanently to. Uh, to America. Did you? You literally you didn't come south at all or London? No, went I never straight did. To, straight I, to the US. I went straight to the US. Uh -huh. And after about five or six months, I really missed that Triumph yeah. and it was in storage. So I had it shipped over. Oh, did you? And uh, I didn't know what to expect of whether, how it would be in, in the yeah. sunshine of Florida, yeah, whether it would really be hot. hot. Well, it was just the most basic of, you know, four cylinder four-pot engine and I had the two-litre version that was in it, the 1800 were the first ones built and then it went to uh, two-litre and it was perfect for Florida yeah. you know the because the boot opened yeah. and, and the, it was a dicky seat yes. and then another wind the back. yeah another windshield came on so you had two windshields and the, you could have two more people in the back it oh, was the cutest gorgeous. thing and what happened? Why did you get rid of uh, it? Well, I got rid of it because a friend of mine called William Kelly, who's an artist, mm -hmm. a, quite a famous artist, yep. uh, his mother was dying of cancer and she came mm -hmm. down to visit and he said, Brian, can I take my mum for a ride in your car? Can I, can yeah. I drive her? And, um, and he, I said, of course you can, Billy. And uh, he... Uh, he took his mom up the island he lived on. Yeah. And she just sat with this big, uh, big straw hat on, magical. just remembering when she was young. And, yeah, magical. And all of this, and he just came to us after. He said, "You got to sell me that car." Oh. Ryan. I said, "Billy, I, I, yeah, I, I you love can't that say car. no to said, that. You can't. Said, he said, "You got it. It's the last time I ever took my mother for a, a drive." Has he still got it? He still got it. Oh. Gosh, Brian, that was such a tough, yeah. wonderful decision, but tough, tough, tough. Yeah, I know. Um, okay, how many gallons to the mile do you get in your Bentley blower? Ah, <laughs> it's probably not much. I, I think if, if I get nine or ten miles to the gallon, I'm, uh, I consider myself a lucky lad, you know. <laughs> uh, it's, it's a hell of a chugger, but... You know the wonderful thing about it is, Jody. The fact is, when you get in it, with, uh, every morning, when you go, the smell. Yes. It's the smell of this thing, and it's um, absolutely immaculate. It's been really cared for over the. When did you decades. get it? I, I got it in 2010. Right. And I bought it from Stanley Mann. Yeah. Uh, who just, you know, he's the, he was the Bentley man. You he know, is the man. And, uh, and Stanley and Man's the man. Man's the man, the man. Eh? And he was uh, just great. And it, do you know, in all the years I've had it, it has never broken down. Never it has problem. never not started. Gosh. You know, I could be away for three, four months on tour, doing things, yeah. and I'll come back, and all the modern cars have uh, kind of 
yeah, you seized up. Yeah, I just well the battery knackered out. Yeah, yeah. Whatever it is. But this Bentley doesn't have any electronic gears, it's just no, exactly. got the battery. Just, so just you just get it. in and it's like starting up an aircraft, you know, turn yeah. on, you know, magnetos in, twist it a bit, put it on an advanced and then hit and the just big goes. startup button and then just listen to that thing. Uh, and is, actually the next question is how often do you get to drive it? I drive it about three, four times a week. Okay. I, I, I hate collections, Jordy. They don't get driven. I, I, I really hate it. I have friends who've mm. got 30, 40 cars and you, you know they, they cover them with these white cloths and all yeah. that and then the company they'll say oh come on in let's have a beer and the thing and just it, look at them it looks like a mausoleum it yeah. looks like a, it looks they look like bodies in a morgue <laughs> to me i'm strangely i go why do you do that you know do, these I are things of beauty i'm so there i'm yeah. totally there with you um would brian prefer to drive the best car on the worst road or the worst car on the best road like that question. That's a, that's a question. Yeah, I like it. So the I best car sure. on the worst road or the worst car on the best road? Yeah, okay, there's only one answer. Buy your Range Rover. Uh, <laughs> it's, I mean, it's, honestly, uh, I had a Ferrari 458. When I first went to into the country and the country lanes, I think I sold it the next week with yeah. the bumps and the things. It was terrifying. Yeah. So driving yeah. a beautiful car on a bad road is definitely no, the yeah. worst thing you yeah, can possibly it is. do. It's hairy. Yeah. It's very hairy. So, my darling Brian Maybe Johnson. Oh, yeah, hang on, hang on. <laughs> Man, it smokes this car. How does it, how does it feel? It, it's feeling good. You know, it's got a little not too wear much on it, but not too much. Meter. You could get used to this real quick. It's just an absolute joy. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah! Wow! <laughs> it's great! I'm sorry, me darling, but... <laughs> it's great! Wow. It's ridiculous. It's 1974, <laughs> so we're talking about a 50-year-old car, just about. That can still burn your socks off. This Brilliant. is just lovely, and it's comfortable. Look at this. A sunny day in Sussex. Isn't it? With a beautiful girl by your side, yeah. in a beautiful car. Doesn't get better, Boy, does it? it? Doesn't be, darling. We've just had a cheese and onion toasty. <laughs> we have. And a cup of tea. Oh, just All the heaven. Best. Heaven, heaven. <laughs> it sure does break. Yes, ma'am. Oh, what a treat. That was wonderful. What a treat. What a what a great little runner that is, me darling. What Isn't a it? Fun time. And just to listen to you, my lovely. I mean, just. <laughs> oh, I love you yeah. so much. Thank you for the best day That's ever. A pleasure. Sun shining yeah. in our bright yellow BMW and listening to your wonderful stories. Yeah. Couldn't be better. Couldn't be better. I've heard, I've heard them before. Have <laughs> you? Just a few times. Thank you. Blue moon, I saw you standing alone. Not just.